All right, so in this equation, I have 2 to the power of x squared over 4 to the power of x is equal to 16. So I want to find the value of x here. So for my solution, I'm going to start by rewriting 4 as 2 squared and 16 as 2 to the power of 4 so that all my terms are in powers of 2. So I get 2 to the power of x squared over 2 squared to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 4. Now from here, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 2 to the power of 2 to the power of x, I can rewrite that as 4 to the power of x, which is equal to 2 to the power of 4. And, oops, sorry, this is not 4 to the power of x. This is actually 2 to the power of 2x, which is equal to 2 to the power of 4. And now from here, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So in this case, m is x squared and n is 2x. So I get 2 to the power of x squared minus 2x is equal to 2 to the power of 4. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n. So in this case, m is x squared minus 2x and n is 4, so I get x squared minus 2x is equal to 4. And now if I subtract 4 on both sides, these two cancel out, and I get x squared minus 2x minus 4 is equal to 0. Now from here, to solve this, I'm going to use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is equal to 1, b is equal to negative 2, and c is equal to negative 4. So I get x is equal to negative of negative 2 plus or minus the square root of b squared. So negative 2 squared, which is 4, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is negative 4, all over 2a. So 2 times 1. And this is equal to positive 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 minus 4 times 1 times negative 4, which is 4 plus 16 over 2. And this is equal to 2 plus or minus the square root of 20 over 2. Now, we can actually simplify this. The square root of 20 is the same thing as the square root of 5 times 4, which we can rewrite as the square root of 5 times the square root of 4. And the square root of 4 is equal to 2, so this is equal to 2 root 5. So now I get x is equal to 2 plus or minus 2 root 5 over 2. And now if I divide both these terms by 2, I get x is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 5. 